Hey guys, so um, I wanted to show you guys a few things. I have a, a video called Countdown to the Kickoff Event. I'm going to just run this down real quick. Um, I had a dream about the Heavenly Mansions before. In the beginning of the dream, I looked for chicken. I couldn't find chicken anywhere. It was nowhere else to be found, right? And then a swan flew up in the sky and it came down. My son tried to play with it. I slapped his hand away. Then it bit me. And as soon as it bit me, it turned into a lizard, okay? And I've had lizards in my house for since I moved into this new home. And I, I knew when I first saw the lizard that this thing was going to try and get in my home for forever, right? <laughs> it's still not done doing that. It gets in my, it'll sneak into my garage and then I chase it away. And this thing still has not left my house. So there's other things that have led me to knowing we're in this time frame. All right. But the Lord, at the end of the dream, I was flying up in the heavenly mansion, up in heaven. I was inside of a big mansion. He did a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Everyone had Alabama sweatshirts on. He let everyone in. They were so excited. That was the end of the dream. The next morning, I go and look up Alabama football. I click on the very first thing. And it takes me to a countdown ticker clock. At the top of the countdown ticker clock, um, it has my name. It says, presented by Cadence Bank. Okay, the Lord's given me other things to connect the bank. And me having other dreams about being at the bank. Um, buying riches and gold from Him and not from the world. Okay, and, um, and so there, there's just much more on that, right? But this countdown ticker clock, whenever I took the screenshot, um, I went back and looked. And whenever I tried to find the picture, I found that it actually was on the number for escape in Strong's. Okay, and it's so far back, I would go find it for you guys, but I'm sorry. Okay, you guys have this picture. This is a new one, okay? This is what has happened recently. I did not make a video explaining why we are um, at 11111. But I have kind of mentioned it. The Lord, all of a sudden, just recently, now I had that dream about the heavenly mansions like four years ago. But the Lord, all of a sudden, brought it back to memory, okay? By the way, on that um, countdown ticker clock, it was, the, it was Alabama and the Cardinals, the Red Cardinals, all right? And I'm mentioning this because I've had three things come up. All in the last day that have to do with this are the last days, okay, that have to do with the countdown. All of a sudden, the Lord told me, check your receipt. So I went and checked my receipt, and on there, I had a, I had like 600 and something dollars on a card. And um, I had spent so much that it went down to 555 And I was like, oh, that's strange. Didn't think anything of it, and I was like, okay, just left it alone. The next time I went shopping again, it was like, I don't know, three day, three days later or so, and then I spent more money, and it went down to 444 and I'm like, that's weird. Hmm, what are you doing here, Lord? So, of course, you know, I'm not thinking of the countdown. Totally forgot about the countdown, completely. Um, it was so long ago, and I literally just did not remember it. And so, um, he got down to 333 and then it got down to 223 and 23 cents. And then it got down to 111. Okay. And so we've been out 111 for about a month. And now the Lord keeps putting now and after that, okay. This is where I received map four. Guys, we're about to see that. I really think it's, it has to do with Israel. Like I said, I didn't know anything about the maps. They weren't even talking about the maps. They had already had one map decided on. Now they're rethinking the maps to the peace plan. And they're on their second map. And I believe we might get to map four. Okay? Like, I'm thinking so. Why else would the Lord have given me map four? I don't know what that would be for. But I received map four because I was at <laughs> everywhere I've received new information, I've been vacuuming. I've been cleaning and I've been given dreams about vacuuming. All of these things connect together just like 
Bible stories in the Bible connect together through keywords. And that's how you can go back and look and see the puzzle that the Holy Spirit's creating. And I'm telling you, this is a whole new time, guys. Um, okay, so I saw when I pulled in this lady that was previously at Walmart that day. And her license plate was 321. And I went over there to ask her if I could take a picture of her license plate, if she would mind. And she did mind, but she asked for my YouTube channel so she could check it out and she would send me um, a picture. She never did. But she probably was like, this girl nuts. <laughs> so she didn't send me anything. And um, I didn't get to get a picture. But there was another one next to her. And I showed her how there was a line of cars with all the license plate that said 321 on them. Um, frontwards and backwards. And then there was one that was like 543. And so I don't know why she didn't. <laughs> if their eyes are closed, their eyes are closed. I'm dead serious. Because sometimes it will be so in their face. And they just don't see it. Um, the Lord has some sort of. Uh, literally, if your heart is not in the right place, you won't understand and you will not see this. Um, I really believe that. So, when you, when you read things in the Bible, guys, I wanted to mention this. The Holy Spirit is telling me to. Take that as full-on truth. Accept it in your heart and meditate on those little things. Especially meditate on ones that, that like you have never really thought that way before. Or... You weren't, you didn't grow up like that because those are the things that, that the Lord really needs to turn your heart to. And you, you, you should pray and ask the Lord to make you comfortable with believing in this, to make you think in this way, because the Lord, once you ask, he will do it for you. And most of the time, if it's something like that, he just does it right then. Uh, you just start to accept that truth. Um, in like a week or two. I'm dead serious. It happens so fast. He just wants you to ask. He just wants you to pray. And he wants you to ask like that um, on a meticulous basis. You know, like if you think of something, just ask right then. Because that starts you on a path to just like a conversation going on with the Lord all day. And sometimes whenever I've read that in the Bible where you should be in prayer all day. And it kind of sounds like like... Well, I can't be in prayer all day. I got things to do. You know what I mean? Like people would read that. But really, he's just wanting an active conversation going. So like he literally wants you in your head talking to him all day. And it doesn't have to be like what you would consider as a prayer, but rather just a conversation. I really don't sit down and just like pray. Um, because first, I, I honestly will sit down and I can't think of all the things I've thought of throughout the day that I need to pray about. Um, I, I literally just can't. I, I, I will try and I'm just like, man, Lord, I, I really want to sit here and pray to you. And I want to get into it like I hear others doing, but like it just doesn't work for me. You know, and I think I, I know things in my life are perfect the way they are. And I'm where I'm supposed to be. And I'm doing things how the Lord wants me to do them. If you're in, if you have the right heart. And and he's talking to you. And, and, and there's a constant growing. You are in the right place. Always. Even when you think you're not in the right place. You're in the right place. I promise you the Lord wouldn't have you there. Um, sorry for that tangent. Cut back to the story. So. I have those receipts. And I need to dig them out and just show you guys real quick. I should have probably done that, but um, but I didn't, and I'm sorry. But my mom sent me a gift. Now, the Lord's been showing me stuff and Rapture Time Awareness and a few other people about the mother and the father, Father's Day thing. And the interesting connections of those two day, those days and in the middle of those days and how, the number of the days in between those two holidays, right? And for some reason, every time my mom has given me a gift this year, the Lord used it in a dream or a vision over the past five years. So my mom gave my kids a trampoline 
that was in my first dream from the Lord. And the six seal dream where they're jumping on the trampoline and they're outside. And um, and I watch like this net drop out of the sky. Like this like weird grid flash across the sky. And um, all the like fireballs and stuff come down. And the kids like get pushed off down into the basement where adults can't fit. Well, so she gave us that. Just recently for my son's birthday, she gave him a red radio flyer wagon, okay? And like, like I said, in the twins' dream about 4th of July, they were in, he was in a red radio flyer wagon. I'm dead serious. It's so crazy. And, um, and now I got a pillow that says, thank you from my mom which was so sweet like not only that but like there's been other things that, that I can't think of um right now but every time the box I get has numbers that are important or like the Lord's telling a story and um so this is just one now the, the reason why I'm mentioning this is cause that it's one like when I saw that one 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 I was like no way I can't wait to get home and check out these numbers so um so I checked them out and let's just let's just scroll or go over here. I have some of all right now. I have some these are all three of them. But the this middle one right here um is a backwards number because the number started with 9 and any time it does that I always flip them. I just turn it around. Um that's just how the Lord has always answered me. So all right, I'm going to go so the first one is 1394, and my mom, I kept trying to explain to my mom all week, like, Mom, this, these things are important. He's calling you to listen, because my mom has started to hear a few things, very few, but she, I know she's heard them from the Lord, and she made mention of it the f first time. She said to me, I heard the Red Balloon song. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? The 99 red balloons. Do, 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 do. By the way, all, all of these songs, almost all of them, that the Lord's given me, connect back to the wedding singer. That wedding singer movie has a lot in it. So check it out if you're ever wanting like a comedy or whatever. And um, even though like it's not like what you think, there's a lot in there. They've... The enemy has put a lot in there. So, and the Lord directed it because the Lord directs all things. But um, whenever I told her that this number and I sent it to her and I tried to, and I showed her, like I made a little chart <laughs> so that she could clearly understand like that these numbers do mean something and that the strong concordance really is like, like this is really happening to me, you know. So I showed her that that um, the first word was the act of give or a giving a gift a donation um, gift emphasizing the intention or aim that motivates the giving. Okay, listen, my mom gave me that present to say thank you, just to say thank you, right? For for us getting her a gift and it actually ended up messing up to where now I have to reorder her one because <laughs> it left out my son Thomas's name like it's it had all the other names of the grandkids on there yet it's for some reason it left out my son Thomas's name when I ordered it I don't I don't know what happened and I know the Lord's gonna speak there but I just I don't know it hasn't really comprehended in my mind yet but so that's the first one and let's go on to the next one. I think this is the next one in the line. Okay. The word is, I seize, apprehend, assist to conceive, become pregnant. Now, guys, the first uh, about a year ago, and this is why I hadn't been on YouTube for long, or about a year ago, year and a half ago or so, um, the Lord told me I was going to be pregnant. No, it, it was longer than that. Because my son's one now. But um, told me I was going to be pregnant. That I was pregnant. And he kept showing me all these signs. And he told my son I was pregnant. My my five-year-old son. 
at the time he was four, actually. He's six now, I'm sorry. He's six now at the time he was four. And um, he come and put his hand on my belly and he said, is that your baby? Oh, I feel the baby. Like, uh, what? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> it was, it like, it started me off on this, this journey of first running away like Jonah. And um, I literally, literally ran away like Jonah. And I know that that had to happen. The Lord showed me that was supposed to happen and everything. But it's sad whenever you go through something like that. I feel so bad for the Lord that I would run away like that. But um, so many things happened, guys, while I was pregnant. And um, and it was just like, it, it just got so, I put myself on such a high like perfection rate like I needed to be perfect at everything and uh, and it, I literally just crashed because I couldn't <laughs> um, and that's when I really comprehended like that the Lord um, that the Lord has us if you are in him and you believe on him and you have the the pure heart of that then um, then you're saved by the Lord like you are good and um and it took a lot for me to like accept that you know and uh so seeing this and i want to i'm i'm saying this because right then before i ran away i was on the subject i hadn't received the secret door yet but i was on the exact subject line like like if you were to continue if i would have continued on I would have received that that vision next, probably. That se- the secret door vision, I probably would have received that next. But I didn't because I ran away. Okay, and now that I've come back, he brought back old stuff, and then once I like really got back into him and like, have been. I mean, I've been back with the Lord for. I mean, I didn't. I didn't run away. Like I always had him in my heart. But I stopped being so diligent on just like constant research, constant, constant, um, continuing forward, right? Um, but I've been back for like a year and a half. And then it was like a year and a, a year before that, that I had conceived, right? That's when that started. But now he has me back on the same stuff. I'm sorry if the timelines aren't right, but you get what I'm saying. Um, the Lord started me back up here, and now he's saying this again. But he's also saying, you know, it's also, I see he's apprehend assist. And um, this can mean all kinds of different things, and I'm not saying that's what that means. I'm just saying that this is what this brings me back to. Like, I know the, I'm being reminded of that time that that I'm back again at the same place. The Lord will always bring you back to where you were and continue on. Like... <laughs> You mess up, and he'll just take take you out of the equation for a second, and then put you back, and you are to continue on in that place. Um, and I thought, man, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. I know that's the Holy Spirit, because uh, no one really knows these things. But um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, what? I'm sorry, guys. I'm going blank. But um. Oh, yeah, pretty much that, like, the Lord, you know how, like, you think, like, if you you make someone mad, and, and you're, like, you feel so bad for what you did, and, like, you just need to earn their trust back, the Lord just gives it back. He just starts you back off where you were. He doesn't, like, he doesn't take your anointing away, or I was so afraid that my because like I wasn't moving forward like my I had lost my anointing or something because I know like the Lord showed me he and he's anointed me and um and everything and like that meant so much to me um not that I that I need other people to to know that or to think that but that it meant a lot in my relationship with the Lord and it meant a lot to me and I was so afraid that I had lost that and the Lord, um, as soon as I came back, I was like, Lord, are you mad? Like, is, is it all taken from me? Like, like, am I, am I not going to be now what you've said, you know? But of course, that's not true. You, 
he starts you right back off where you were and, and just shoots you. Actually, you're, you're headed there faster. So if you think about it. And so that's what this reminds me of, okay? Um, of that time frame of those, the same things are going on. It's, it's just so strange, right? All right, so let's go on to the next word. Um, I think this one's it. Okay, so this number is, it's really 9528, but I typed in 8259 because um, Strong's doesn't go up that high or, or the way I do it. I don't like, if it's not in the, the two answers at the top, you know, the Strong answers, the Hebrew and the, and the Greek. And I normally do the top. I've noticed the Lord normally sticks with the top one. I don't know why, um, but but he does. And so if, if it's not like quickly found in that, then I um, type it in backwards. And it means to overhang, look out or down. Okay, but then if you go down here, to look down upon, to be high, to overlook from on high, to look down upon or to rise. Did y'all see that? Um, and then I'm seeing rocky pinnacle, rock, ceiling, roof, sky, over top, overlook, from high, be high, look down upon, and from rise. And I find those just crazy interesting about being at the mountain. And then I also had had that vision I also had had that vision of um, of me holding up this house, my house, holding up a house, right, that I knew was a jail, and it was it was falling over a cliff, and I could see that the bottom too, and all of these l red lunch boxes f fell out, and it reminds me of that, and I know that the Lord is using that in many ways, but right now, guys, we are. We're, we're at the cusp of a great famine. I'm not ready. I And I can't tell you guys to get ready because I I know that in some of y'all, I know I've been put in this situation because I will be um, on the move like with a backpack. I know the Lord showed me that. Like he showed me I'd be living out of a tent. and um, And so, and with my husband, like, thinking I'm already crazy. I really can't sit here and hoard up a bunch of water and food. And so I know a lot of people haven't been called to, to have, be a storehouse, you know. But there is a famine coming, and, and I hate for you to be unprepared. Please know there's a famine. If the Lord has led you to save up food or and water or in place, ways to store those things, or, or if you have a way to store those things, and um, and you can't store it up, or you can't build up a food storage. Maybe someone else with you would like to do it. You know, maybe you can reach out and other believers to other believers around you that do believe these things, and um, you guys could do that. But I'm just saying, there's a famine coming, and um, but the Lord will have us in His hands. He already does. He goes before us so far ahead of us <laughs> but he's got everything in his hands and if you're following him he he will take care of you it, even if there was no food for miles around you and you were about to die he would send a crow with manna or rain manna down from heaven i promise you it is that time and it, it we are living in that time that that these things are going to happen we're going to see and i know i said this to a woman the other day um a woman that I met at church, and she knew it was in time. She knew it. She knew it, and she knew she was born. She was she's almost seventy years old, and she knew um, that she was going to see the coming of Christ before she died. Right? That's what she said. And I told her, I said, "Me and we're also going to see amazing revival, and we're going to see like these huge miracles." And um, an exodus, like some sort of, not, I mean, I'm not saying like the rapture could be the exodus, you know what I mean? I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like a real, like on earth, earth um, exodus, or if it's us going up to heaven and coming right back down. 
But I was telling her, you know, we're still going to see revival. We're going to see people coming to God. God's going to use this time to gather up many, you know, many, many people. And I, I've seen this. I know this. And I know he's going to do this to gather up the Jews. And they are still Jews, <laughs> guys. They're going to be Christians, but, but they, they're still, you know, Jewish descent. Um, but... I told her that, and she was like, um, have you read the Bible much, or have you read a lot of it? I'm like, yeah, have you? <laughs> so, I'm just telling you guys, like, if you don't believe that, or you don't, under, like, think that, the Lord, the Lord has his hands on this, guys. We're going to see a horrible time, yes, and thing, bad things are going to happen, but look around you. Did you expect to see things play out in this way? No, no way. No way you did. I didn't. And I've thought of tons of scenarios. Okay. And we've seen tons of movies to make us think all kinds of different things. The Lord is going to move. And the enemy has put that out there to make you think. It's just. It's it's not going to be what we think. It isn't. And, I, and it's not even what I think it is. But I do know that those things will happen. You know. Um, and so. I just found this interesting. Um, I know I went off on a few tangents, but I like to, I'm using this just to talk to you guys, you know, this platform and this platform to share what I get. I want you guys to know, um, I feel like I need to say this. Everything I put out is, is literally for you, for just you, for me as a friend to you guys, you know, um, I'm not here to, I don't want to be like. I'm not a teacher of the Bible. I'm not really. I'm just showing you what the Lord shows me. I don't know if I've been called as a full-on teacher. Maybe not. Probably not. I don't know. I mean, I've started to notice that um, the Lord's given me some of those qualities. But I think just as you know, we all can teach things that we know. But I'm not called to be like a teacher of the word and breaking down scripture and all of those things. I'm just here to show you what the Lord shows me because he gives me prophetic dreams, you know, and visions. And the, and, and those things are have importance too in the body of Christ, but they're separate. And, um, and I also use this platform just to talk to you guys and to share my thoughts and feelings and... Um, I want you guys to know that, like, I, this channel will be 100% honest and truthful, and, um, I just, I've been seeing a lot of stuff go around where people's older videos come back to bite them, or people just jump on them, and I want, no one's perfect, guys, at all, and I hate seeing that happen to people, because, you can be saved and you could you can be a diligent follower follower of Christ but yet have an issue going on in your a sin or something you know of course you're always going to have those things so jumping on people for one individual thing and then just reaming them about it is not going to help anybody but push them further away from Christ right we should worry about Christ handling that in them and not you calling them out for it. And so I just want you guys to know that um, just that I, I'm here as a friend to you guys and to, to show, show my love to the Lord and share what I have so that we can build this puzzle together. Um, and just don't kill me for it, guys. You know, um, I don't know everything I at all, like whatsoever. I've only been following Christ for like six, six years, okay, so, or maybe almost seven now. I thought it was five a while back, but then I started looking back, and it's, no, it's been much longer, but I, I still don't know everything whatsoever. I don't have scriptures memorized, you know. There's a lot that <laughs> that I don't know, and so I'm always growing, and so if I... Um, learn something from the Lord that I previously didn't know, I will, t and it like, and it changes my mind about something, I will let you guys know, definitely, because that happens all the time. The Lord will reveal something to me, and I'll be like, oh, wow, I, I, 
And so, um, because people will tell me things, and I'm like, yeah, that totally makes sense to me. But I try not to accept anything at all unless, unless like, I've taken it to the Lord, and He's just giving me confirmation after confirmation, you know? Um, And so I think I'm there at a... (laughs) at like a the precipice of a new understanding but I can't say for sure from the Lord yet right so if that happens and when that happens I will tell you guys and explain my 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 position on that platform um when we get to that that point now um I did want to show you guys something else that has to do with the kickoff event this is really cool okay like I told you guys in uh, my last video, um, I mentioned, I hope you guys can see that. I'm trying to take a picture of my neighbor's yard, and I don't want to be, sorry, I'm outside talking, and I don't want to seem like rude, <laughs> you know. Okay, so, in the dream about the heavenly mansions, everyone had on Alabama sweatshirts. And that next morning, I went and searched up Alabama, and that's how I got to the ticker clock, right, of Alabama and the Cardinals. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I have another thing I want to show you, tell you guys. Um, and so, after that, though, the three days later, three days later, the Lord told me, turn right. There's a big cross. Turn right. Then I come to this big house that has um, Alabama all over their yard, tons of signs and mailboxes that that was Alabama and then on their roof it said Alabama 17 number 17 okay and then I left and then it said Cadence Point at that apartment that changed their name that day and then I got to my house okay and I know I know this is going to be of such a por- of great importance in my walk and and I'm going to see this play out in the future I know I am in some way or fashion or form, I'm going to see this play out. And so when I moved to my new house, like I told you guys, in my very first dream from the Lord, I was at a house that I knew was my home, but I didn't live there in real life. Two months later, after having the dream, I moved into that home. But when I explained the dream, and when I talked about the neighborhood in the dream, I spoke of this new home I've moved into. I said it was a place full of cul-de-sacs. Like it was it was a road that had just only cul-de-sacs connected to it. And that it was very strange. But it was really nice. Well, the house that I moved into. This is right next to where I sit outside every day and make my videos. Do you see the elephant, guys? Number 17. <gasps> guys last night I wanted to make this video and put it out for you guys but I never I I have to start asking people like even if I don't play their video sometimes I'll leave it on that screen so you know where to go where I found where I heard what I'm talking about but I watched a video by Jason A and I don't normally watch this because these are like you know his are more for like that newer newer Christian coming to the end time stuff. And so I haven't really watched his stuff, but I felt down to watch it. So I did. And maybe a minute or two in, there he starts talking about, or he has these newscasts play, all these elephants dying, guys. They think there could be upwards of 400 random elephants just dying, dropping dead out of nowhere. They just all just drop dead. Right when I've been talking about these elephants, like telling you I'm seeing elephants everywhere, telling me the Lord told me to look at the elephants, and then now look at the, my na- the neighbor I moved into. Next to me is the number 17 with the elephant. And, and it's signifying, guys, the kickoff event is here. I'm telling you, I, I don't know if we don't realize it. I don't know if something's going on in the spirit that we're not seeing it yet. But the, I think, I don't know if the kickoff's begun or, or if we're right there. Uh, I'm starting to think, like, could it have already began? I mean, 
I'm trying to think of this in all manners because things are going to happen in ways we don't expect, you know? And, and the Lord's bringing us to these dates and sometimes we're not seeing what's going on. And I think, I'm thinking to myself, like, is it in the spirit? Does, do things happen in the spirit and then a year later they really happen? I don't know. And, and that, guys, is a thought that's been coming to my mind recently. <laughs> I want to go now, <laughs> you know. But I'm just saying it's what's been coming to my mind a lot. Um, but last night, right after I heard, I stopped that video, I saw the video and I stopped it and I was like, oh, I'm going to make a video and put it out. But then I was like, no, get up in the morning and, and have a picture of that, what you're looking at. Cause I wanted you guys to see, um, there's so many more little things that I'm seeing throughout the day that I can't just stop and shoot because I don't edit my videos, you know, and I'm sorry guys, but I just can't sit down and edit a video too right now because honestly like I'm <laughs> I literally spread myself so thin um as to like my daily life that just doing the videos in the morning like is killing me um and so like this is the best I can do for you guys you know but I do want to start, I'm going to try and start making smaller videos where I'm talking to you guys and just maybe adding daily things in so that you guys can start to see and I can build it up so that you guys can see everything I'm seeing. I want you guys to know how to hear from the Holy Spirit. I really feel like prophecy is definitely my calling of some sort, okay, for sure, I know that. But I feel like teaching about the Holy Spirit, the Lord has really just put that on my heart. That's what I want to, I want people to know. Like, I don't know why I, I just, I, I didn't know that in the beginning. And I know I wasn't supposed to. Because I didn't go to church when I first was, I didn't go to church at all. Okay. And, and I just started reading the Bible on my own. And I just started talking to God, like adding him in. And it slowly just built up to where one day it, I watched someone's video and it clicked. This is me hearing from the Lord, you know. And I slowly learned it over time from God. Like I learned it through only Jesus, you know. And I think I was supposed to learn it that way. I was supposed to go through that so that I can show others. Um, because, you know, there's not a lot of time in these days now, I don't feel like. And I feel like you need to know how to hear the Spirit right now because you're going to have to be moving at a split second at any moment. We're going to have to know what the Lord's telling you to do. you got to know. Please know that if you're watching this video and you're newer, you need to learn how to hear from the Spirit. That's the most important thing. If you want to live and you want to survive and you want to know that you're going the right way, that you're doing exactly what God says... And if you want that out of your life, you have to learn how to hear from the Spirit. And I want to be able to help you with that, you know? Okay, last thing. I'm sorry for taking so long, guys. But right after I saw that video and I paused and I went to go make you guys a video. But then I said, no, I'm going to do this in the morning. I clicked off and I went back and sat back down and took like a second to take a break. I'm sorry guys, I have to pop my ears all the time because I have sinusitis, chronic sinusitis, and it's absolutely horrible right now. It's been raining for days and it, it's killing me. Um, I've got so many things wrong with me, it's insane. <laughs> but I want to make a video, guys, about being Job, about being like a type of a Job in a way. I'm going to have to do that sometime. But I sat back down and I went into a vision. And I saw something happen before this in the vision that I, I can't remember. As I came out of the vision, I have, man, I have to grab it right then because then it's just like gone. It's like Satan takes it from me. And the Lord has shown me that, that Satan is taking them from me. And I have to pray like with a lot to get them back. I've got to pray so much. Like I have to just like pray to the Lord all the time. Give me this dream back, Father. Like, I had a dream last night, and I remember one part of it. I saw my ex-boyfriend, Van. He, he drove up to me, and I was, like, wheeling my son in a wagon 
my older son, he was in the wagon and he was like laying out stretched on the wagon and um, Van like swung his door open and was like, hey, and that was all I can remember. I don't know why I'm mentioning that, but the Lord wanted me to mention that. But I went straight into a vision, okay? That's separate. That's the dream I had last night. There's more to it. I know there is. Um, I remember there's tons to it. But I've got to pray to get it back from the enemy. Um, the enemy does do that, by the way. If you're new to this channel, you may be experiencing that. Just pray to the Lord. He will give it back to you. But you've got to pray a lot. <laughs> I think the Lord's training me to pray more and more and more and more and more. Um, to be just like constantly going, praying, 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 praying. I'm sorry. Let me continue on. In the dream, I saw, I heard like birds flapping. Okay. And then I knew something happened before in the vision that I can't remember. And then I could see this red image fly down. And then I saw as, as it landed, I saw its wings outstretched and then come in. And it was a red cardinal. Okay, y'all remember the Holy Spirit had me make a video out of nowhere when I was driving. And I was just like so, in, I was feeling the Spirit and I knew that the Holy Spirit wanted to speak. And so I just turned on the video and just started talking. And I, the Lord's telling me now that you reach certain levels, right, with the, with the Lord and, and how He talks to you. And then... The Lord recently has been like, you're living it now. You're living, you're living in the spirit. You're living in the spirit. Like, not like I'm walking and I just spoke in the spirit. But no, I'm living in the spirit at all times now. The Lord's showing me that. And I feel that too. Like, I can feel it in me. Like, I know and I, and I'm thinking differently, guys. Even more differently than I ever have before. Um, things are just different. They are. I feel it in my body, um, in my in my spirit. I can feel like it's it's such a deepness into the Lord that I'm walking in. But in that video, I'm talking. I had turned on the video because I had seen that red cardinal, and I had just driven driven away off of Church Street, and I that that's where oh go oh guys yeah, I was on Church Street. When, when I saw the Cardinal and then I turned the video on and I was talking to you guys in the spirit. And then um, as I was driving, the Lord told me to look up and I saw the, um, the white dove, the dove flying by and the sun like shined through its wings. And the Lord was telling me, you're blessed hope. So it's going to be the Cardinal and then that's our blessed hope. And it's been the same pattern that the Lord's repeating to me. There's patterns to our to our walk, guys, and those patterns is what is going to show us that that it's what's going to happen in the future. You're living out many harbingers of the future. I'm telling you, you are in some fashion, way, or form, spiritually or in the physical. You're repeating the same thing over and over and over. It may seem like you're living a different life and that you're growing and you are growing, but you're seeing things differently. I, I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying. And it was really hard for me to comprehend what the Lord was teaching me this past week. But that's what the Lord's been teaching me, that we're, little har we're living little harbingers. We need to look at our, our walk. That's why I was saying make videos. Make videos. They're so helpful to look back on. Because the Lord is just repeating the same thing over and over. I've got to let you guys go. But um, I love y'all so much. And um, I'm gonna, I am gonna—I want to figure out how to do like a live stream. Um, so that I can just like actively talk to you guys. And especially like if I'm feeling in the spirit. I want to get on and do a live stream. The Lord's calling me to do that. But I'm not sure... I think you have to have enough subscribers, and I don't think I do. Um, I don't know how many I have, but, but I think you have to have, like, over a 1,000. And I'm probably nowhere close, <laughs> nowhere close to that. So um, whenever I can start to do a live stream, or if I ever can, then, um, then I will whenever I'm feeling in the spirit. And it will probably be during the daytime, 
which is probably great for you stay at home moms or anyone in the in other countries <laughs> because I know most of the time you got to work but I love you guys so much and the Lord is moving it's the time of the kickoff event I know it is I know the Lord's pointing us to this time frame, guys. We just keep getting closer and closer. More and more things are just colliding and becoming one. It's becoming a grand convergence. And I don't know how long it's going to be, but I know that in December that they're calling something the grand convergence or something like that, the great convergence. Check out that. I'm going to have to look into that. The Lord's telling me to look into that. And um, he's also pointing me to different things. But he's not pointing me to a different time frame yet. Which is strange. Because normally when the day passes. Like almost he on that day. He will give me a revelation that sends me to another date. But I haven't been sent to another date. So. Um, and it's it's July 5th now. He, or. No, I think it's July 6th. So so it is a little strange that I haven't been sent to another date. But I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you all later.